Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. My name is Rosalie and I'm here to share my art journal with you. And you know why? Because I use something that I haven't used at all. And I haven't seen it on the YouTube for a long, long time because I know there was an artist out there a long, long time. I'm talking about like in the early 2000s, I think. And um, she used puzzle pieces. She used puzzle pieces in her layout. And I thought that was really nice. I never got the, the puzzles, but yesterday there was this neighbor, right? She just gave away this uh, thousand piece puzzle of a butterfly. Beautiful colors, right? So I went and got it. And this is it. I didn't use the colors on the puzzle because it didn't go with my background, the background that I already had. It just was like competing in my opinion. So I made it more subtle and I jessled the pieces as I jessel when you start something you just the pieces spritz away uh with your mist and stuff like that and this is what how it turned out put a little gold just with the finger you just spread a little gold um, um uh, i i did a lot on this spread i did a lot of stenciling a lot of stamping uh with also dimensional paste uh bossing paste or whatever um that is already colored okay because i had some you can make it yourself uh, and, um, uh, and it just developed, look at this, I, I, since it's multimedia, you know, mixed multimedia, I put a piece of metal here just to frame that puzzle. I thought that looked really good. It was just amazing. So this was really inspirational, just using those puzzle pieces. I just want to go to this page to show you that this is going to be my next, um, page. I don't know what's going to happen. I just know that I took the card, any plastic card. Put some paint on it and just did this kind of thing paint and just spread it so this is a background already that's going to start and i don't know when so going forth i wanted to share with you a a, 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 a die and i'll show you in a minute but this page was inspired by these flowers yes i use these flowers and they were made by the martha stewart punch this goes back a long time and there was this YouTube person who used about a card that was about two and a half. It might be a little too thick, uh, two and a half. But she punched it one way, turned it around, punched it the other way, and then you get this. So you have to really play with it if you really need it to be precise. With me, it doesn't have to be precise. So I made a few. I just threw them in. You know, because I was kind of coming, looking around the drawers to see what I haven't used in a while. That was one of them. So I put them around, started putting some paints. I used some tissue that I had that had some text and some design to it, okay? Just some tissue there that I had. Threw it in there, stamped away. And then I decided to use this Sizzix die cut. These are thin lens. This is a must. They cut like laser, let me tell you. They cut so beautifully. Let me show you what I got. Let me put my book down for a moment. Let me show you this here so that you will understand what you will get from this die cut. Check this out. Never mind this over here, but I got to show you. This here is from one of the, the dies. This one here. All right. Beautiful piece. Cuts out marvelously. Just so thin, so beautiful. And the pieces come out really easy. And then this is the brick piece. Okay, nice. And then this is the alphabet, the alphabet cutout. Which way is it? This way? You want to do that? This is this way. It doesn't matter. This is abstract. I don't care which way the letters end up. Now, you can cut it. Just tear it up and you get pieces like this. And I'll show you when you tear it up. You can get just, you know, without all this blank here, you just tear it up and you get some nice pieces. It's just beautiful to work with. That die is amazing. Did I show you this one? Huh, look at that. I don't know what I'm going to use this on. I don't know if I want to leave it this way or chop it up. But in any case, it's up to you. I want to bring your attention to the um, negatives because the negatives make a big difference in your layout. I use, and I'll show you where I use these little pieces of negative. This one here also. Okay, from the Martha Stewart flower. This is what I get. These are corner pieces, so you can put them anywhere. The the little letters, sometimes you have the of the, the letters or any irregular pieces that cuts out, they are really ideal. They are beautiful pieces to use on your layout. So don't get rid of your negatives and I'll show you how I use them on my spread. 
Okay, so here go my spread. Let me see. This is one of the dies. This is the alphabet die. Alphabet die. Look at that. How beautiful that looks. All right. And then I did. Let's see what I did. Oh, this is something that's going to be developed. This is a. Um, I did a black background. There was a couple of artists that did black backgrounds. I'm not really crazy about it, but it turned out okay. I didn't do. I just did a lot of stamping and the white pen, and it looks good. I like it. But I like a lot of texture. This one doesn't have a lot of texture. This is where I use my Sizzix here with the brick, here with the alphabet, alphabet, and then here with the negatives. Look how nice those negatives look. All right. Texture paste, a lot of texture paste. This was a stencil. This was a stamp. Uh, uh, Diane Weebly, I think. I don't know. I forget the names of these people. A lot of text paper was really nice. I like this. I really like how this turned out. And, uh, yep, a lot of color, stamping, and this is what happened. I didn't know. I didn't plan on it, but I love the layout. I hope you do, too. So, here we have, this is another layout. I didn't quite know what was going to happen, but I was cleaning up my room, and I came across these stickers when my, uh, had, I had, when my little grand, me and my daughter was just doing scrapbooking and all that craziness, right, for the baby. And I took it out, I took out the, the round pieces and I just laid them out wherever. It didn't matter to me, you know, I just put them down. Yeah, as you can see, look at the color of it, right? So I gessoed it, put uh, delusion paint on it, and I, I just, one thing led to another. There's some tissue peeps, pieces here also. I put some tissue for a lot of texture. That's a lot of texture. These little diamonds, the diamond pieces, bling bling. Um, and, and then, of course, you get to learn how to direct your light if you're doing the circles. If that's what you want to do, you don't have to really. But I kind of like the way you can tell which way the light is hitting the, the balls. And this is a, a nice uh, stamp. I really like this. And this technique here I learned from another artist where uh, the, these lines here, you take a plastic, put some paint on the edge, and go for it. Just go for it. Could be any color and anywhere you want where it looks good to you okay and uh, i think that's what i have here a lot of tissue and whatever stamping and all that craziness and those little i like those little diamonds they really look nice right i like that page i mean i love that page this page here was with the stencil this one here with the not the stencil the um die cut this one here okay i cut it up and actually it's a one whole piece this was like one whole piece like this one huh? one whole piece like this but I cut the edges so it doesn't have that straight edge. And then this is what I have. This is what came out. I did, did some um, uh, fabric. These are remnants of this fabric. It had, I put it on a double-sided uh, uh, double-sided tape, sticky tape, adhesive tape, and uh, put it down. So that's fabric. This is from the Epiphany. This Epiphany, I had it for a long time. Uh, I mean, this is a long time. Very first one, I went to Scrap, uh, scrap Expo. And um, I used it for a couple of times and then put it away. I actually had to look at YouTube to find out how you use this piece. And this piece is so easy. I love it. You put your cardstock right through here. And then um, you put, you, you need these little round sticky stuff here. You need this because it goes on top. It goes on top. Let me put my book down. Cardstock in here. And then the little piece in here. And then you punch it. You punch it down. And you end up getting... Um, whatever you punch covered with this nice plastic stuff here and it looks really great and you do you could do um, um Pictures too, anything anything you want under there. I don't know if it takes fabric I don't know if it cuts fabric, but it cuts a lot of the card side. So I like this and again look at my negatives From the brick stuff. Isn't that that looks fabulous. I really love this page So it's, it's a lot of texture a lot of different things that I've used on there this this page here I want to share because this um, this art here is somebody's uh, die, uh, not die, um, stamp. Uh, and again, I think it's uh, Diane Weebly or someone like her who uses these crazy things. Well, they were so easy. They're, not, they're expensive, and I just couldn't afford the stamps at the time. I still don't want to spend that kind of money. But anyway, they were easy. So, you know, you cut circles, and then you just doodle. You do all these little marks on it, and you do whatever you want to do over here. You don't even have to learn how to doodle. You just do whatever looks good to you. So this, and I developed this page, and I just love this page because it's so crazy. 
and one of the crazy birds or bird crazy by Tim Holtz. I took a piece of paper that was already a uh, piece, and this is tissue too, that and it has texture to it that looked like grass. It was already green, and I added some little flicks to look like grass, and that's what I developed. And it looks really, really good. Stamping and, and doodling along with it. Um, let me just turn this page here because this is so involved. Again, the um, the uh, the stamp also had this. And I'm going to reach out this to this book right here. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about because I have to share this. This is the stamp that I, I drew. This, this is a stamp. And it had these. So I'm saying, why stamp when you can just draw it? It's so much fun when you doodle and you draw it and put it wherever you want it and not have to stamp all the time. You can do this. You can do this manually, and this is manually, and this is manually. So I did this manually, and I saved it because when I forget, because you, you, there's so many things you can do, and you forget some techniques, you have this so you can look back. This was, well, again, a stamp, and I just copied it from it, you know. And I, I when I use it, I don't use the whole thing. I use pieces. And, um, you know, this thing was part of the stamp. This was part of the stamp. I don't know if this was part of the stamp, but this was also... You, you can do that. Look at the, it's just circles with different kind of uh, designs. Who can't do that? So I'd rather draw it on than to buy an expensive stamp, and that's what I did. And so this is how I got that inspiration because this, I'm sure this was a stamp because I, you know, look at this. Okay, I did that. So that means that I can do it on my book. If I remember to, you know, look back and say, what design can I use? Something crazy. I go to my book and I, and I gather... Uh, the, uh, the the different types because I can just use this. I don't have to use the whole thing. I can just remember to use this piece. And this is how I learned how to do grass. So you can do that. You can. Some of these stamps are so easy. Look at it because look look at what I put over here and all the you know stamps of the. Look at that. That's some you know inspiration from the stamp. This is all inspired by those stamps. But I drew them in and did I put the circles and the swiggles and all that where I want it and where I wanted them and also do a lot of stamping of very light stamping of flowers and stuff so that it can look all busy back there. The coloring, it's up to you. you when you do your, your uh, painting and you're spraying away, that's when things just to come together and, and you develop your page. They go the epiphany. I had this piece of uh, paper and I thought that might look th good there. Just looked for it and, and, and did it that way. This was another crazy piece. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's finished. I think it's finished. But uh, a lot of stamping. This one I did a lot of stamping. Not a whole lot of texture. This is a negative. A, a piece of paper, uh, piece of paper card stack that I cut a flower out of. And I used the negatives in my corner. So I used a lot of my negatives. So just to bring your attention to that. A lot of texture, paper. Um, you see these things are nice these little stars. They are plastic. They're that hard plastic, but they don't stay on You have to put more use your your alphabets There's a lot of those alphabets right that you that we all hold on to uh, for one of those days Well, just throw them in they look nice. So you throw in your your alphabets and um, Crazy bird. Yeah, so I really enjoyed um just either drawing in, cutting, and it's just it's just a lot of fun. But this was my greatest inspiration for this video. I want to thank you for your time. I hope you learned a few things. I think I showed you what I wanted to show you. Uh, and hopefully one day I will show how. Because right now, I can't video a piece of, of art of my work because it doesn't take me just one hour. I sit down and I relax. I relax and I do a little something, come back to it, maybe another day before I come back to it, but I take my time and do what I wanna do because it's for my relaxation. Thank you so much. Hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned a few things. Have a good day, bye.